Hello, I'm Rich Peachy. Some of you have known me for a while here in the FCCM. To some of you, I'm rather new, but I have been around here for 20 years <laughs> in the mission and 30 years with the EFCC. Um, I've recently been given the uh, job of um, interim coordinator for member care and development. And basically that means I'm going to be attempting to help lead us through this time uh, until we get another director. Uh, and I am going to be conducting a few surveys during this time because during this time we really want to be listening to you uh, as to what some of the things are that you would like to say to us as an organization, uh, but also to help us to cast a real vision for the future. Um, and one of the ways I'm going to do that is by beginning with this survey. Um, so this survey uh, is um, intended to help us to uh, kind of reflect on some of our best moments in our ministry. And in order to, and to do that in a way that helps us to say, what do we want more of? What have been some of the really good things that God has done and how can we get more of that? Um, it's also... Uh, a bit of a way for us to as well to to help us to think about some of the times that haven't gone so well um, but just deep enough so that we can see okay what were we really frustrated with what things didn't go well that we would like to see changed um, and so as you read through this survey you're going to come across questions that will help to uh, start that type of a conversation um, the wording of the survey, it's uh, in a sense to get us deep enough into those frustrations to help us to uncover blocked goals, unmet expectations, and a vision that we had hoped for. Um, the intention of all of this is to draw together a preferred future, uh, what we would really like to see God do among us in the years to come. Uh, and then what are we going to do with this information? Well, the first step is going to make sure that we understood what you've said. Um, you might be hearing from someone in the, in the near future just to kind of get better clarification uh, so we can understand what you've been trying to communicate. And then secondly, secondly we're going to try to collate those responses into a port, report and then send it back to everyone. Now, if when we do that, you just think, well, this is not reflecting what I said, then we, again, we really do want to hear from you. It's not going to reflect every single answer. But we hope that it will that what we're saying is included in a general understanding, a collectively constructed vision for what we would like to see for the EFCCM moving forward. Um, <clears throat> we're doing this to reflect the, the, the conviction because we believe that the body of Christ moves forward best as each part does its work. Um, and that what you are hearing from God matters as well. Um, that the ministry that he's called you to uh, to work in is worth paying attention, careful attention to if we're going to discover what God is saying to all of us. We believe he's the head of the church. He's the leader of our mission agency. And we, we believe that we can hear best from him as we're all speaking together. Um, this survey is being required of every full-time missionary because we want to make sure that our understanding is as broadly informed as possible. Um, after uh, our attempt to articulate that vision, we're again going to be asking for your feedback. Uh, eventually that description of a future, future will be used in the hiring process of key leaders in the future and to shape our practices. During this time as well, we're also going to be trying to um, shape our organizational culture into one where we are uh, showing real uh, intention in our member care. Not that we haven't done that up to this point, but we really want to sharpen that focus as well. Please give this survey <clears throat> prayerful consideration and attention. If there really is little in your mind or in your thinking in response to these questions, then simply write that nothing comes to your mind at this time and, and we'll be okay with that. Please see this as an intentional process of spiritual discernment. And for that reason, I'd like you to pause before you fill out the survey and just take time to ask God to lead you in the way that you fill out this. Um, please also see it as a, a sincere attempt on our part to offer you care during this time. 
and for all of us to carefully listen to one another and to listen to the Lord in our midst. Um, we hope you'll not only find this an encouraging exercise, but that it will also help you to feel more connected with the people and processes in the ministries that we share together. We realize that there isn't a perfect way to do all of these things. And if you have suggestions uh, going forward that you'd like us to have as well, please write those as well at the end of the survey. Thank you again for your participation. And we do hope that God, we will be hearing God in all of this.